Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about how the Earth is no longer hotter at the equators. Now, what I learned in school was that the equator received the most sunlight and therefore was the hottest area of the Earth. But that story has changed, and we have a lone gun man with two A's to thank for this one. He, uh, this person finds quite a few good Mandela effects. And uh, this person has posted on retconned. They try to explain why it's not hotter at equator. Now the major deserts are far from equator. Correct. Check this out. This is the link that he is uh, posting here. You can see the equators here. And this area and these areas along the equator are now very green. And the hot areas are back through here, which are they, they are calling the tropics. Now, in my old timeline, the equator region was the tropics, but now apparently the tropics are just outside the equator. Now, the storyline here is that the hot sun here pushes up a lot more clouds with evaporation, and the clouds cool the region by the equator then the clouds drop all their rain or a lot of it and push to the poles where they are blocked by the Coriolis effect which forces the uh, air to push downwards which causes it to have more pressure which causes it to heat up. Therefore the hot regions are now here in what they're calling the tropics. So that's a different one for me but um, a lot of us remember the Sahara and other regions um, being more by the equator and we've seen a lot of geology changes and now I think this is starting to bring it together as to uh, some of the the planning behind these changes um, that the hot regions have been moved away from the equator and this could be uh, an example of maybe modulation and calming of extreme temperatures on the earth um, with this one region that used to be the hottest is no longer the hottest. And we have seen um, things like uh, snow and ice and hail in, in a lot of the deserts that we don't remember seeing. So very good, fine, lone gunman. Uh, yes, this is a very interesting one, and I think it ties a lot of things together on the geology changes. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.